Hi, this is Laura Lee Waldorf, Master of My Own Therapist. I'm here again. This is part four of a series to teach you a little bit about what myotherapy is and how it can help you and empower you over your muscular health, which is a good idea to do because 85% of pain is coming from muscles. So instead of going to the medicine cabinet and being addicted and end up in recovery rooms or whatever people do, or going to get surgery and end up having to get another surgery and hopefully not, but usually that's what happens. It lasts for about five years and then you got a deal. So with myotherapy, it's really nipping it in the bud by letting your muscles know what you're expecting of them and where to go. So I'm just going to be um, explaining the... Um, second session. In the second session you come in and you, it's about an hour to hour session and you come in and you give the therapist feedback. They ask you what exercises did you like and what exercises didn't you like. Were they okay to do? And if they weren't, what was the, where did you feel the pain? And then we, we, we figure out what goes on. The patient gives this or the student or the client, whatever you want to call yourself. I like student only because it's a learning curve or client if you want to be worked on and patient if you're hurting. So there you go. Anyway, um, so the second session, we do it again. We go ahead and go over what exercises, and don't take a history, but we, we're putting together a piece, and what you tell us helps us figure out what muscles are involved. We lay you down for another hour, and we work on about 75 trigger points. And we either add or delete exercises, depending on what you tell us, what you're able to do, and then we go from there. So hopefully we can add um, exercise, just one, or switch one out. Um, you you got one down pad, it's, you're not feeling any kind of um, ideas. These are range of motion exercises. Not even a stretch you should feel on these. It should feel like nothing. And then you can go on and know that your muscles are at their normal resting state. And that's important because when you're inactive, you want your muscles to be at a resting state that's not all taunt and stuck in spasm because then you don't have a lot of room to give. So it really affects your, um, your performance when you do athletics. And also, when you have a muscle in spasm and it's tight like this, it takes a lot of energy to hold that fist. If I had to do that 24-7 or on and off, that's sucking a lot of energy out of my body. So I don't want to give my energy into spasms. Not anymore, and if you don't want to, don't do it yourself. So learn how to do the myotherapy. You can do it on yourself. But first, come in for three to six sessions. Really start learning. And the third session is when we pull out the charts. And the charts are helpful tools for you to be able to learn how to do myotherapy on your own. All right, love life and come to love you back. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.